And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bills and the Eagles, and it comes your way next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Buffalo Bills taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway in the final game of a busy Sunday. And we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. As we begin the Super Bowl, we are looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offense is always up to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed, it keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They go play action with Hurts. This will be cut once again by Brown. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they top 30. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? But well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. Now hang on here because DeAndre Swift injured on that last play and in need of a little assistance. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Hurts. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football, and he's got a first. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends are on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Elliott good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. And 
and beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to. And he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three to throw. It's Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snuffed out. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and five. Throwing now is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made at the 42. Here's Allen to throw it. Incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Allen again here on second and ten. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Oh, pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping to run uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Allen looks to throw on second down. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he stops right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here is third down and four. to throw and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground but it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage how about right here the difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal that's absolutely huge with the play he just made and you know he hated taking the loss there on third down so both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now, they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? When you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Throwing his hurts. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think Automatic about the differences down. between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Gary. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a trainer as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refused to go down. If you're a defender and you don't get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. First carry for Kenneth Gainwell to about the 26 here. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. And we are back, biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. From the gun, it's Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles! Dallas got her, 26 yards. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream, one you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Elliott on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drives seven plays in length. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, it's Naheem Hunt. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first down. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Eagles offense back out, getting set for this next drive. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. On first and ten, it's game one. And a reinforcement. 
reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Holding offense. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. They'll look to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end gunner. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Eagles are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. A CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's 21-3. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in Plotts territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bills offense back out onto the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21-10. to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. On second down, here's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And Davis will have a Bills first down as he'll get this up across the 30-yard line. like a running back going through the line. Quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Allen now on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Second and ten. This a quick pass to Davis. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed quickly. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Allen to throw once more. Well, he's going to go for it all. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And this one is no good. He missed it. And the deficit will stay at three scores. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on them, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it, and now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. 
On first and ten, it's Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard at the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. They run behind center with Gainwell. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Third and two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Hurts fumbles it. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Now a second and ten. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Here's Hurts to throw. Touchdown! A.J. Brown from 13 yard town. And the Eagles are starting to open things up here in the Super Bowl. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who are in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Elliott on for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not having balls go through goalposts. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Second and five. From midfield, here's Allen. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game. But that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Now Allen. And a the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way. And they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And again, it's Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jordan Phillips 
breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. To the air, Allen. Caught right side, Davis. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. On play action, Allen. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Sometimes it's just not your day. There was another failure right there on third down. The kick by Bass is good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. But first down, Hurts. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. So first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're yeah. in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. So after the INT, it's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs, 28 yards. And the Bills get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will cut the lead down to 15. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Straight ahead, it's game well. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback, that's Jalen Hurts. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Well, the Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They've played great all year long, 
That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Now Allen. Throw right side caught by Davis. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Here's Allen on first and ten. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Allen now looks to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Now Allen again. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. From the gun, it's Allen. This is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 32 yards. And the Bills are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And this is back to an eight-point game. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try to make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a handoff coming left is Gainwell. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. His first ever catch in a Super Bowl, a nice moment, and also a first down. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Hurts. Going the right side here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. 
And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Hurts. And he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead is up to 15 now. So this drive spans seven plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass. So whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. On second down, here's Allen. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Allen going to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. This will be fielded at the 17. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing his hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. From the gun, here's a run by Gamewell. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. On 
first and ten. It's Hurts. And incomplete. He dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there. Second down. From the gun, a give to game run. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up four. Almost time for the final act of this NFL season as we are now through three quarters in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and ten. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Allen. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. From the 41, here's a second down and six. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Allen on third. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Up the middle, it's Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. On second down, Cook. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. The right side here caught by Kincaid. So just three yards on the completion there, and yeah, that will bring up second down. to the air, Allen. That's complete, right around the eight. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. And they'll try again here, first and goal after the false start. Now Allen. He will find Diggs. 
Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bills are able to cut into that deficit. So this is now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. An extra point by Bass, up and good, as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. The kicker here, it's complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And here's a handoff to Gamewell. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They work now on second and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So pass interference, the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you got to call that both ways. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 33. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. On the counter, it's Gainwell. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. There he goes, right side. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, 29 yards. And the Eagles are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Yeah. This taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam and it's intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. 
And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They go play action with Hurts. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of night. Now Sean McDermott is going to throw out the challenge flag. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one, as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. A line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. And they'll stay on the ground with Gainwell again. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Gainwell is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Kenneth Gainwell who finished it off with a touchdown run. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here's Hallett. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Look at the big fella go. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dalton Kincaid, 74 yards. And the Bills have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Throwing Allen. And he's got you. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. 
Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. And they'll begin by running the option. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. On the handoff, game well. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On the option left, it's Hurts. Down to about the 22 here. But that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. That is likely the final play of this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this, practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely... Do we have a team that hosts the Lombardi Trophy? They didn't have their share of bumps along the way. They didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.